Jo, hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be running through my new plugin slash digital asset, Greeble Presets, which I've got here. Basically what this does, it takes polygons, single polygons, and turns them into these mad, crazy, faceted objects that look pretty nice and you can animate them. Basically it's a set of 11 presets. Each preset has its own unique parameters along with some consistent parameters like animation and beveling, all that sort of stuff. And I'm just going to be running through the features of it right now. Um, and I'm going to be showing you later down the line how to do some of the stuff that I've been putting up on Instagram. Here's some renders and also the test asset. This is really important because this is using Houdini's pipeline system, pipeline tool thing. Uh, and basically you need a version of Houdini, which you can use the free uh, indie license, but I'd recommend downloading this free asset that I have, making sure that you can get everything working. I have a tutorial showing how to install all that stuff. So let's get into this. Um, if you go, if you've installed everything correctly, you should just see load asset here. And I'm going to load in greeblepresets.hda. There we go. And we're going to do the tile setup now. So what do I mean by that? When I created all these presets, I made them at a certain certain size, like the grid that I used was a certain size and the grid was 100 by 100 and then one segment. So if you go into line mode, this is literally a single polygon, single quad, uh, nothing else. Uh, we can even hide this now. And this is our base, base object. And I'm going to drag this into our asset. There we go. And there we've already got something. So this is the first preset. And here what I was, here's what I was talking about with the unique parameters. So as you can see, we've got edge length, basically making it more complex. Bringing this down really far will make the distance between all the edges very small and therefore might break your PC. So, you know, be, be cautious, be cautious. And then all of them have subdivide as well. And then we also have um, additional extrude for this one, which is, again, a unique parameter, which creates this kind of crazy fractally pattern. Uh, but let's go to another preset now. Let's go to two. So this is one of my favorites here. It's sort of like a flower or something. It's mad. Um, and again, we've got subdivide, we've got edge length. And we've also got random extrude, which is another consistent parameter, which I'll show off now. And basically it does what it says on the tin, randomly extrudes. You can choose the range between whatever and whatever, <laughs> but by default it's between one and minus one. We've got a seed. And also the way that this is controlled is with a random noise or a random color on each individual polygon. Uh, and you can access this here. So if you want to mess around with this, you can drag this into a vertex shader on, you know, your Octane material, your Arnold material, etc, etc. Um, another thing that we have within uh, this asset that you can access selection-wise is bevel. So you can bevel the edges. By default, it's pretty safe, a safe bevel. So I'm going to uncheck all this so it's going to bevel every edge um, instead of just the flat edges. Um, and if you want to create like some sort of Tron look, you can just select your edge here. And then it just works like a polygon selection would. You just drag this into your material and there you go. So um, that's me ran down the, the kind of consistent parameters. Um, we have uh, some other ones as well. I'm gonna go back just to get rid of that selection. It's a bit of a weird glitch. Uh, I'm going to uncheck bevel and random extrude for the minute. Um, we've got extrude multiplier. If I go to one of the other presets, maybe I can show this off a bit better. And it's literally just a multiplier, multiplier value that multiplies the extrude. Then we have subdivide for deform. And what that's doing is it's subdividing without smoothing. And what I mean by for deform is if you want to throw a deformer on here. <laughs> uh, here's a pretty uh, mad example. We've got the formula in here. 
and you'll see it'll make it go up to the top point. It won't have that sort of nice smooth curve if I turn this down. Oops, not that one. There we go, see there's less detail in there. So basically that's what that's for. And um, now let's talk about the animation, which is noise based. Uh, by default I play it pretty safe with the settings, but I'm going to turn the amplitude up so it's going to clip essentially. And I'm going to turn the minimum down as well. So basically this is allowing you to open and close your extrusions with a noise and you can animate this. So that's me animating on the Y. So you can create some pretty cool effects here. And obviously if you had a bunch of these, since it's a noise and it's based on your position, uh, all of them would be uh, different, it'd all be random, which is also pretty cool. And some presets have their own animation settings, like this one, this is one of my favourites here. Uh, so you can see, you can kind of contract the center like this um, and I'll show you this working on another object because obviously you know this is cool and all this is maybe cool for like if you're creating some nice abstract set or something uh, to throw this in or have like a bunch of these in the background but throwing this on like a sphere is where this really shines in my opinion so I'm just gonna put the segments there really low on this um, on some of the, the presets we, we do smooth these out so you'll see when I put this on this one doesn't smooth the edges out, so you could actually turn this these segments up to make it look more like a sphere. Obviously it's going to be a bit slower. And then you can also throw this on to like preset 11, and now you can't see it because it's smoothed out. So if I hide our original object, that's not the one that I wanted, I wanted this one? Yeah, this one. So this is a super complicated looking object and this was literally created from three segments on a sphere. So uh, we've got like facet faces, which is a, a pretty cool effect actually. This is on a couple of the, the presets and it's actually in the cover photo for the, the plugin. If you want to go and check it out, it's on the website. Um, so I'll uncheck that. And random extrude works slightly different on this one. Basically, it's extruding these these points here, these points in the middle. So maybe if I boost this up a little bit to like two, change the seed, maybe you can see that some of them are in, some of them are zeroed out. You know, it's all different. And again, we can also animate this. We can throw a noise onto this, and it will do its thing, which looks really cool when you've got all these individual faces closing and opening and whatnot. So yeah, that's essentially it, that's the rundown. Uh, I'll be coming out with a couple more videos on this, um, but you know, it's a pretty simple uh, tool to be able to use. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have any questions, shoot me an email. Any suggestions for updates are appreciated too, and I'll see you in the next video.